And although both teams, talking about Hong Kong and Alab, uh, have two seven-footers, yeah. a lot of differences because Sam De Guara likes to man the paint. He runs from end to end. Yeah. P.J. Ramos, as I have noticed, uh, he only runs usually from three-point line to three-point line as he can shoot the ball from the outside because Bachman is usually the one uh, doing the damage inside. And speaking of Ronaldo Bachman, he starts off his game with a deflection there on Chris Turker, and that's the start against the home squad here in Cebu. Here is Ethan Alvano. He's been playing very well for Ala Pilipinas this year. Very young man. Just graduated. This is his first pro experience. They go to Kalen Chongson here on top. Ray Parks back to Kalen. Face-up three-pointer. That's going to be too strong. D'Angelo Hamilton skying high for that rebound. Trayvon Hughes. The point guard for the Saigon Heat here. Going to D'Angelo Hamilton who attacks Balkman. Hamilton no good. Here's the second opportunity. Fresh shot clock for Saigon and Hamilton sticks the jumper. The first two in the ball game for Hamilton. And one of the things that because they're they're missing um, Kyle Barone as Hamilton had replaced him. This could be an advantage for them as Ray Parks, who missed three games, gets the first two for Alab. Maybe unfamiliar talking about uh, Hamilton's game. That's right. They have the surprise effect here. Right. The surprise factor against Ala Pilipinas because they are playing with a different import. As Ramos drops in the three pointer there. So PJ showing his range early here in this matchup. And that's the one we were talking about. Unless it's a set play that they run cross screens him underneath. Mm -hmm. uh, he starts underneath, but if it's a, off a rebound or a steal, he runs from three-point line to three-point line. That's a five. assist, rather. And out of the 41 field goals that they made, right. 34 came from that. Or assisted, that's uh, right. Assisted from that. And Alvano, although he only had four assists, he does a lot, a lot of the... He initiates the offense with the drive and kick, whether it's a direct assist yeah. or a hockey assist. That's his ability. Of course, Ivan Alvano, a good shot creator for Ala Pilipinas. As we see here, Murphy Bernatowski score on the reverse. And it started on the defensive end there for the Saigon Heat, getting the basketball from PJ Ramos. D'Angelo Hamilton sticking with Ramos early here, putting on the pressure in the first quarter. Bachman for three. Renato cleans the lid off the rim. And here is Trayvon Hughes on the attack for Saigon. Durker, that big body. Banging with Parks. Parks, though, strips the ball away. Hamilton will recover. Here's Bernatowski, one of the top three-point shooting forwards off the league, knocks in that jumper. Leads the league in three-point field goals made. And what you like about him is that he doesn't really settle a lot Excuse me for outside shots. He's a guy who likes to pound the ball inside and drive the basket. To your point, I don't think these two are over January. <laughs> because it's February already, but right. <laughs> you're, to what you said, <laughs> started, starting it off with a firework early in the ball game. <laughs> Ramos wants the basketball. Ramos puts it in. And DJ Ramos gets his fifth point. Five of the seven points of Alab so far coming from him. So Trayvon Hughes guarded at a much to Made sure he got that basket over Hamilton. Here's Durker, he's got range. Durker though, too strong. Here's the outlet pass. Kalen goes to Ethan. Ronaldo Baltman driving and scoring for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Well, after missing his first shot from the outside, that time he did not settle, was in stride and made a short sidestep or swipe step move towards the middle to finish with the right. And that's a an all familiar drive from Ronaldo Balkman as Hamilton knocks in his second basket off the game. The outlet anticipated very well by Murphy Bernatowski. Bernatowski attacks Parks, takes the jumper, too strong. Ramos with the rebound. Quickly to Balkman. Ronaldo to Alvano. Alvano getting the contact from Hughes. Doesn't matter, he got the basket anyway. Well, if Saigon is going to win. Tonight, we're looking at those threes, like Decker, the open shot a while ago. And Hamilton, this team, they have a lot of shooters. 
in they this do. squad. Yeah. That's right. And uh, that's how Coach Cal Julius actually built this team. 11 to 10 start for Ala Pilipinas. Here's PJ at the low post again. Banging bodies with Hamilton and gets another basket on him. PJ Ramos flexing his muscles early in this matchup. And there's no way Hamilton will stop that somehow. You, you're going to have to decide to send a double team early yeah. to help out Hamilton. Oh. As they you know, so you expect Coach Cal Julius to address that issue on the floor on the defensive end for the Saigon Heat. Right, they drop into a zone. Of the Saigon Heat. Ramos missing the free throw. Here is Hamilton getting the rebound. So Trayvon now will run the show for the Heat. He's hounded by Kalen. They go out to Quatran who fires. Quatran drops it in. And Quatran, AKA Mr. Wiggle, back in Vietnam, knocking down his first basket off the game. Chong Sun goes back on top. Ramos, the cross court to Parks, who squares up for three, drops it in. The answer for Bobby Ray Parks Jr. Now that's an impressive basket because it was a tough catch of a pass by P.J. Ramos. Had to set his feet for about a second, but still able to hit it. Bertowski with a second shot from downtown. Doesn't hit. We saw earlier Kalen go down after the hard screen given up by Hamilton as Parks scores his seventh point off the game. Smart play by Parks, especially after hitting one the play before. Instead of going for the long bomb from outside, two on one. And Bertowski has no choice but to look on. Hughes to Hamilton from the corner. That's going to be a miss. Ala Pilipinas with momentum. Up by seven points. Ramos fires. Ramos still hot in this game. And the shimmy from the whole PJ Ramos right after. Ten point advantage for Ala Pilipinas. They force another miss on the other end. One on one break. Balkman. Waits for his teammates. Good decision from Balkman. So here's Kalen Chung Sun. Kalen looking for a teammate. Finding Albano. Pass. Touch pass from Balkman. That's a miss for Albano. Hughes. They go to Murphy. Bernatowski on the turnaround jumper. Well contested by Parks. But Bernatowski able to put it in. I had to Bachman here, got the contact from Tim. Puerto Rican connection between the right. two. Very uh, evident here on the floor for Ala Pilipinas as the cross court pass here goes to Quatran. Quatran, no good on the shot. Avilona on the move, the floater, banks that one in. That's what you love about Bachman also. He trusts his teammates enough also. Whether it's an open shot from the outside or an outlet for that floater, as this will be an offensive foul. Selling the call. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't. It wasn't the uh, impact made by the Angelo Hamilton. Could have been a no call. Let's put it down. <laughs> so 11 point lead for Alab. Havilona connects again. What a spike off the bench for Alab Pilipinas. Pau Pau Havilona scoring five points right away. Hughes tries to answer, no go. Havilona, quick outlet to Parks. Parks doesn't have the numbers, he will wait. And go back out to PJ. PJ, smaller guys on him. PJ Ramos, just dancing his way to the basket there. No perfect way to describe it. You, you, you hit it right there, he was dancing his way inside. And he gets the rebound on the other end. This is too easy now for Ali yeah, across his name. But well, one thing you can credit Jimmy Alapag also, the luxury of having earlier, it was Khalil Chung Son yeah. matching up against Hughes, a very big guard, that's right. has the length to challenge, and subbing in Lawrence Domingo, that's why Hughes, it's been a struggle so far to start the game. And this is a product of good scouting uh, for the coaching staff of San Miguel Ala Pilipinas, knowing the guys to check or right. who to check. Uh, on this Saigon lineup. Trayvon, Corey Celia, deflected by Parks. Two on two, Bray Parks all the way with the right hand. That's more than just athleticism. That is excellent footwork 
using the one-step layup off leg and finishing with his offhand, his right. Oh, Durker. He's got the body to guard the big right. man of the other team. Their points came from inside. 16 of the 33 points in the paint. And you know, forced four turnovers and got seven of those. We saw the layup by Ray Parks. You saw the, the, um, the Paolo Havelona teardrop. Yeah. So everything working well for Alab. Double digit advantage uh, here in season number nine. And they've actually had the opportunity to come back and win a lot of those games in their home floor or on their home floor and on the road as well. Here's Pau Pau Havilona. They go to Somalino back outside to Bachman who fires the long bomb. Oh, Ben that went in. The magic touch for Bachmania. Uh, there's a reason why it's, it's called home court advantage. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's because of that, that those kind of shots. Yeah. In this game. Oh, they, they just got to find a way, obviously, to get back in this ball game before halftime and hang around until the last five minutes with stops like this one. Call will stand, that's right. That's Tim Well. Trayvon Hughes. Guarded now by Pau Pau Havilon. He's got a smaller defender on him now. So Trayvon will choose to attack and score high off the glass with the offhand. And he's going to have to do more of that. Not only getting inside the paint, excuse me, but also scoring for his team. Another stop by Vietnam. This could force a basket timeout for Coach Jimmy. Trayvon tries to go back to back. No good. Oh, but Durker right there. Oh to get to his strong hand mm -hmm. right there and finish on top of Buckman. Uh, those are the kind of shots that we mentioned earlier, whether it's a mid-range challenge shot yeah. or it's a shot inside the paint. Uh, to me, that's the only way for them to win this ball. You're, they're going to have to make those kind of shots. There's Avelona for three. That is too strong. So he successfully made Ala Filipinas a perimeter shooting team there. As Durger carves space inside, difficult shot there. Here's the outlet, Josh Urbistondo using his body as seal, but too strong on the lay-in. Celia goes to the corner. Trayvon puts it on the floor. Hughes still with a basketball. They go back out to Durker. Chris Durker bumping Rosser there. Bring the ball down for Ala Pilipinas, who are enjoying this 14-point advantage. Ethan. Working on the taller Bernatowski, Rosser. They go to Bachman down low. Bachman had position, counted. Uh, with his back to the basket and gets excellent position. Oh, As Chris Tucker on the alley oop jam. Wow. The Saigon connection there. Henry Nguyen lobbing it up to Durker. <laughs> For a while, he sucked the life out of this <laughs> building with that highlight. <laughs> and those are the game changing plays. They need to get back in this game. Talking about the Saigon Heat. Orbis Tondo, Alvano driving. Alvano could not put it in. Domingo though getting active. Just let that one go. So PJ Ramos who is back on the floor goes back out to Rosser. Too strong on the trifecta. I don't know what's harder, the catch or the shot. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was like an arrow pass by Ramos. That was a very strong cross court given up to PJ Ramos. So you got Trayvon Hughes here on top, working on Ethan Albano, and then a smaller defender. Hughes choosing to attack, putting up, or putting up that difficult one. Or Bistondo. Back to Ramos for three. Off to the right. Bobby Ray Parks Jr. back on the floor, scoring nine points in the first quarter. Trayvon Hughes on the move. Saigon Heat will set up a play here. Bernatowski at the post, feeding Trayvon Hughes. Leg injury, but he is back in full health for the team. Ethan Alvano here, putting on the pressure against the defense. Kalen Chong Son. Goes to Parks, and you're putting that risk, uh, especially during the season. That this is not the first time that a guy like Ramos or Buckman has had yeah. two fouls already. So they're they're good in managing their fouls. That's right, because they also have a lot of long guys 
right. long wing guys right. that can alternate with the big men here on the floor. And one of them is it's Kaylin Johnson. Yeah. That's right. And that's one thing that Saigon, you know, with this team. The with, record. Yeah, with their record being uh, number three in the league at this point. The pace has slowed down a little bit here in the second frame, Christian. Because of the fouls. That's right. Alvano, no good on the drive. Here's Will with the rebound. They go to Trayvon Hughes, who's got Parks on him. Hughes will stop his dribble, get it out to Nguyen, back to him. Trayvon now, crossover on Parks, the pull-up jumper. That's good for Trayvon Hughes. Well, he had a direct lane to the basket. It was a good crossover move against Bobby Ray, but because P.J. Ramos yeah. is there, he made the right decision for the pull-up, and that time, he makes it only his first field goal on one for eight. So don't look now, Christian, but that was a timely basket as we see here. Rosser scored the basket underneath. It was an 11 point lead earlier. Back up to 13 now for Alab. Quatran stops and will try to retreat here and reset for Saigon. Oh, he decides to fire though. Not a good shot. There's the outlet. Ethan on the receiving end, cannot score. Rosser grabbing the rebound on the trail job there so parks will go back to ramos they will go to the post to chong son kaylin on the hop step kaylin no good no good on the tip as well alvano retrieves it alvano puts it league at a runaway 47 rebounds per game 15 point lead for alab trayvon working against ethan cross court pass there and alvano Stick to him like a leech, taking away the mid-range yeah. and force the cross-court for the turnover. So here is P.J. Ramos. He will back down and score on Durker. I don't understand. That's the third time already. You got a double right away. And for San Miguel Arab to hit outside shots, they've only they've, they've made four already. Yeah. But you got to take that chance instead of a 7-3 pounding it inside. Yeah. Just have to play him one-on-one. -on -one especially with this rather short lineup for the Heat. Chong Son to Parks, down the middle he goes! Wow, what a shot there by Bobby Ray Parks. Those are the ones that you're gonna have to win also, the 50. Really struggled of shooting the basketball. 46-29 is the count, two and a half remaining in the first half. And you got PJ here on top. They will go down low to Kalen Chong Son. Kalen for the Saigon Heat. And that's a screen. Parks being given up by Bernatowski. Kalen will persist. Trayvon Hughes goes to Bernatowski who fires. Too strong. Good and pass. Ana Pilipinas again. Quickly on the other rim. That's a good, tough and efficient move. Right. From Ray Parks. Uh, usually you see the sidestep move off the dribble. Off one dribble at that, least. That time it was on the catch by Bobby Ray. What an impressive move. But Turker will try to answer. Saigon needs struggling. From Rainbow Country. And Ala Pilipinas now with a 20 point lead. 49 29. Ball is loose. Celia will recover. Celia doesn't have the numbers. He stops, shoots. Too strong on the free. Out that here to Bogman. Shovel pass to Alvano. And Ethan will be met by Bernatowski up top. Wait. That's right. Usually some of the guards actually use their body as shield right. uh, when they face a big man in transition. But it's 49 to 30 here for San Miguel Ala Pilipina. Celia scoring the free throw on the other end. They got Bogman here carving space. And again, a basket for Bulk Mania. So that's the luxury that Alap has. A local player in Khalil Chung. In full control of this game so far. You got Parks going to Kalen at the post again. Against the smaller Celia. Kalen takes advantage, too strong. Look he gets that. it back. Oh, no good on the putback as well. Battle for the rebound, it ends up with Hughes. Trayvon Hughes on the move. He doesn't have the numbers. He will go to the corner. Bernatowski too strong. Balkman bringing it down. Torres for three. Off to the side and the rebound goes to Bernatowski. 22 seconds remaining here in our first half. Hughes on the crossover, on the hezzy. 
Flow Filipinas a chance to finish strong and add further to this cushion. Ray Parks will facilitate. Ray Parks will drive. Ray Parks straight to the basket. You would shake you know, the rust off. Yeah. It hasn't been the case for Bobby Ray in the first half. And then he's Hamilton back on the floor. The replacement import back on the floor for the Saigon Heat after, I believe, not playing the entire second quarter for the Heat. So here's Trayvon Hughes beginning the second half with that basket. That's a long bomb from Trayvon Hughes to begin the scoring for the Heat. And his first three ball in the ball game after going 0 for 3 before that shot. That's a huge basket confidence wise for Hughes to start the third. Again, if you're Alec, you cannot relax. This is a Saigon Heat team that is used to facing right. big leads. Trayvon Hughes, Saigon getting the stop on the other end. Hughes guarded here on top by Lawrence Domingo. So another tall defender against Hughes. He decides to fire and drop in his second straight three-pointer. Just like that. Less than a minute from 20, it's now 14. Trayvon Hughes, 16 points in the ball game now. They go to PJ here, quick spin, runs into ha Hamilton. Oh, he misses the lefty hook. And two fouls. Fortunate that time that the left-handed jump hook was short. They get the stop, and if they get this one right here, three straight threes to open up the third. Down to 11. Wow. Saigon Heat catching fire here to begin the second half. Puts this crowd in a hush. Ethan Alvano, the cross pass. court to Parks, who fires. Could not connect, and the Heat will have an opportunity to get this down to a single digit advantage. Trayvon Hughes had a couple of three pointers earlier to begin the third. He will facilitate. He will shoot this one. Hughes will fire. That is an air ball put up by. After that hot a hot start for them, Alvano against Quatran. Baltman back to Alvano. Attacks, gives it out to Parks. Parks moving closer. Parks. Huh? Do the math for me. That's right. Well, six for 21. Six for go. 21. <laughs> <laughs> that did not take a lot of time, though, Christian. <laughs> it's Murphy. They will go to Quatran, Quatran. Oh, getting fouled. I thought it was because of the hair. <laughs> Interesting. That too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then, those, by the way, are the 20th free throws by, given up by Alep to Vietnam. Yeah. So Saigon hanging around. Parks from the top of the key. That connects. Ray Ray Parks stops the bleeding for Alep Filipinas. Bernatowski kicking it out to Durker. Durker gets to the lane. Durker, the floater, no good. Hamilton with a rebound. Put back is off. PJ with a contest. The outlet to Bogman and touchdown for Bogmania. That easy. Point A to point B. Oh, but Hamilton has the answer for the Saigon Heat. Another three pointer for the Heat here in the third. That's four already at the first three and a half of this quarter. But Baltman again scoring inside for Alep. Well, until they adjust defensively of shrinking the floor yeah. or collapsing on the big men of Alep, uh, they're going to have a feast as they have been the whole game. Talking about Alep inside the paint. Good basket on the other end though by Vietnam. Domingo answers right back. Good answer by Lawrence Domingo there. And Saigon Heat just trading baskets right now with the defending champions. Hamilton connecting again from downtown. <laughs> well, that's such a cute cam, though. Doing a lot of cute gestures on cam. There you go. That's a very brief way of explaining it as we continue the action here. Bachman runs into trouble. Pass. Gets it to Alvano. The extra pass to Ramos, who jams it home. That's just experience for Bachman. Did not even fluster yeah. with that double team. Alvano, smart cut to the middle. Ala Pilipinas again. Probably the best passing team in the league right now. No question. Yeah. yeah. Trayvon Hughes 
Saigon staring at the 14 point lead. They go back out to Durker. Quatran dancing against Ethan Alvano. Cannot shake him off. Durker fires. Off to the right, Hamilton with the rebound. And not trade baskets, as yeah. you mentioned earlier. They gotta get some stops and put pressure, especially on the post with those double team. They're not gonna survive one on one on the post against nope. this very big Alab team. Mm -hmm. They're gonna force them to be an outside shooting team like that. PJ Ramos could not connect from downtown. 65-53. Bernatowski going around. Finding Durker, who attacks. Durker puts it up and in. And this is down to a 10-point lead for Ala Pilipinas. And the, so you got Quatran triggering it in. They go to the corner. Durker blowing by Ramos. Durker, the floater will not drop. Alvano. Axel Rasket. And he extends the lead back up to 10. Parks goes to PJ. PJ at the post. He's got Hamilton on him. Oh, Ramos counts Hamilton and is able to score on the scoop. Again, no double team on the post. Ramos scores. Turker driving, kicking it out. Murdatowski for three, knocks it down. And Murphy is able to put it in. Bernatowski making it a nine point game again. Ethan deflected by Hughes, recovered by Hamilton. Here comes Saigon, Quatran. A uh, step basket, the scoop in the hoop for the Hulk. And they go back to PJ. It's not an entirely bad idea for Ala Pilipinas. PJ is able to score again. There's no way Captain America is winning against the Hulk. <laughs> But Unless Durk you have tunnels. There you go. That's a way to answer. If you're the Saigon Heat, a free pointer on the other end by Chris Durker. The Heat is back down to eight again. This is turning out to be an entertaining game here in the third quarter. They go back to PJ. PJ carving space. PJ! 10 point lead, Defense. Hamilton Defense. steps into that one, decides Defense. to move closer, that's an offensive. Forcing the fifth foul. Fifth foul, fifth that's foul, right. Yeah. And PJ with an open lane there. Ala Pilipinas taking advantage right away to committing his fifth personal foul, or foul rather, yes. Avilona getting the steal. Alaba on the move, gets it back out to Balkman. Balkman throws the ball away. Trayvon Hughes getting it. Hughes behind the back pass. Quatran all day to shoot, knocks it down. I want to see him do the wiggle while shooting the basketball. <laughs> aside from the free throw, uh, that would really be impressive. But nonetheless, a big shot to cut this lead into single figures. And the Heat outscoring Alab 34. Now 26 with that three pointer by Chris Somalinog. Hughes, Durker, the step back three pointer. Durker short. Domingo gets it, deflected by Durker. Hughes will get it out. Quatran catch and shoot, too strong. Ramos with the board, quickly to Balkman. Ronaldo on the move. Balkman. 79-67. Ah, uh, would have been a nice pass, but Bachman is able to recover. It was a nice pass <laughs> <laughs> to Bachman. So that's going to be credited to, ha to, to, to Bachman or Havelona. <laughs> After wiggle for you. <laughs> the four. That's right. Bachman carving space. First two or three shots from downtown, but also I thought their defense picked up except for the ones who are in. They still played single coverage on the post on Ramos. That's why this lead is still 12 points. That's right, that really cost him a lot of baskets. That was scored by Ala Pilipinas. Bachman was poked. But the Saigon Heat will have to live life without their world import, D'Angelo Hamilton. Here's Durker on the break. 
So feeling the effects of that poke. Catch and shoot for Hughes. Too strong. Whale with the rebound here. Another crack at the basket for the Heat. Saigon. So 81 to 70 here. 9 and 21 remaining in the game. Bernatowski drops it in. What a shot by Bernatowski right in the, fa in the face of Domingo right here, but makes a nice move underneath. Lawrence Domingo goes around inside and able to score underneath. Quatran. Quatran triggering it in. They go back out to Tim Whale. Turker attacks Baldwin. Quatran guarded by Parks. He puts one up. Deep ball is off. Tim Whale hustling. It ends up with Havilona. Pow Pow. Stopping, going to Baldwin at the post. Ronaldo. One dribble in. Ronaldo. Unable to, to shoot. You better create separation in the next three to five minutes right away with stops like this one or not. Because only with, with one world import left in Bertaski obviously gives you a ton of advantage. That's right. Especially inside. Coach Cal Julius, because initially it was the backup of Sang Din who was starting for Saigon. And I guess a lot of that because of the wiggle, right? Yeah. <laughs> a a lot huge. Of course. <laughs> And that is another basket here for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas. Well, you ask for separation from this team. This could be the start, Christian, a 12-point lead. Quatran could not finish. Well, News graduating as well. Well missing the second free throw. Urbistondo traveling by. So Quatran bringing the ball down. He surveys the floor here. Two and a half gone in our fourth quarter. Quatran misses the three-pointer. The fireball getting the rebound. Alaba on the move. PJ going to Ronaldo. Balkman's face-up jumper is off. And Saigon Heat will try to capitalize on this opportunity. Durker moving closer. Durker. Throwing that ball away. You might want to put, since PJ Ramos is in, to put him into ball screen situations. The problem is, your best playmaker in Hughes yeah. is already fouled out of the ball game. Ramos missing, Ramos getting it back. Ramos puts it back in. And the activity of PJ Ramos will lift all the Filipinas in this one. Still single coverage. That's right. They haven't adjusted regarding PJ. Whale tapping the ball to Durker. Ends up with Urbistondo instead. Rosser on the move. Goes to Parks. With a lay in. No good. He gets the ball back. Parks connects. Three point play and the separation we've been talking about. Yeah. Now up to 16. So Bernatowski gets in, runs into trouble. Durker fires. Durker connects. That's a way to put out the flame if you're the Saigon Heat. Oh, that goes in! And that's gonna be credited to Ronaldo Bogman. And also an assist <laughs> for Ray Parks. We've been seeing a lot of weird assists. Stepped out of bounds. This is a good Welcome back game for Look Bob Ray Parks. Ramos on the reverse. I don't understand. Same story from start to finish. Single coverage on the post. No adjustments whatsoever on the side of Saigon in guarding PJ at least. Bernatowski driving, stopping, putting it up against pressure. No good. And here comes Ala Pilipinas, up by 17, make that 19. Bogman could not complete the three-point play, but it does have 22 points, or make that 24 points in this ball game. Durker, 
Tim Whale, open shot. That's gonna be off, Rosser with the rebound. Bobby Ray, oh! Poked away by Quatrain. It's Quatrain with the ball fake. Bernatowski met by Pete. 40 minutes. 40 minutes, now 36 minutes so far. Lead is 17, PJ. Double team, oh, good pass inside. And Ronaldo is able to take advantage. So at that time they double team PJ Ramos that opened up the shot for Ronaldo Balkman underneath. Alvano, he's got Celia to beat. Alvano kicks it out. Orbes Tondo knocks it down from deep. That's it. That's a game right there. 22 point lead. Durker. And Ana Pilipinas just running with it here in the fourth. Alvano gets it back. Ethan, the kick out, Orbes Tondo, too strong. And that would have brought the house down. The crowd was already on its feet. As Orbes Tondo was taking that shot, Bernatowski could not put out the fire extinguisher. Three minutes left in the ball game. You got Ronaldo Bogman facilitating here for the home team. They go to PJ. Single coverage again. Good strip by Durker. Here's the outlet. And Bernatowski is able. So 103 82. Bogman catching it. So putting on the pressure on the team. Instagram page, the Bogmania TV, right? Right. <laughs> right? Right. He's been uh, gaining a lot of fans here in the Philippines. Bernatowski had to put one up on Eastern who are trying to catch up on San Miguel Ala Pilipinas and climb the standings. Oh, what a turnaround though. You, thought, you mentioned Formosa Dreamers from last place, last season, last season. and currently in second place. Uh, you don't see that too often from becoming the last place then becoming a contender right away. That's right. So give credit to, you know, the management right there, changing a new coach, probably changing their culture. The only thing they didn't change is the suits of the coaches. Right. Still which, there. Which is sharp. <laughs> I love it. That's right. And that's the product. You're talking about the Formosa Dreamers, a product of their... And Joshua Bistondo just bringing the ball down here. So he has all of the next 25 days to at least give us a pizza or something. <laughs> That's what you mean, well, right? The thing here for, for San Miguel Ala Pilipinas is that they will remain perfect here in the Philippines. Right. They will not go up to 10 and 0, but they will bring up their home record to 10 and 0 now. And, you know, giving the fans of what they really, of what the Filipino fa fans really deserve, you know, one of the, one of the best fans in the ABL. That's true. Whether we're in uh, Santa Rosa mm -hmm. or San Juan or here in Cebu. The invites here allowing us to play here inside the Lapu Lapu gym. Second time this season. First one was Ala Pilipinas victory against the Wolf Warriors and now this is going to be an impending victory against the Saigon Heat. Josh Urbistondo will melt the clock and the defending champions will stay high and mighty here in season number nine of the ABL. And that's not a good sign if you're in Saigon Heat. You're two players down. That's Cal Barone with a broken nose. And Sangdin probably out of the season. Kyle Julius, Coach Cal, told me that he's out for 10 weeks. So that's wow. about two and a half months wow. of recovery for Sangdin. That's severe, huh? Yeah. Bernatowski, 17 seconds remaining. And we're just waiting for the final score. The applause from the crowd here in Cebu. San Miguel Ala Pilipinas getting another victory here on their home floor.